Okay, in the previous lesson, we've assigned two float values to two variables, num1 and num2. Then we added them together. When we try to print them, and let's go ahead and print the actual result, we obtained something that looked kind of strange right here, as you can see, but it simply was a default way of this interpreter of showing the float value to this many digits in terms of precision. Now, if you were around this up, it will be about 7.2. Now, how can we ensure that we could actually round it up to a single digit or maybe two, depending on what your requirements are? One way to do this is to format the way you want the print function to work. Okay, so we're gonna look at several ways. So let's explore this way. So I'm gonna put a, what we call a placeholder with an actual how many digits after the decimal points in a float number I want a precision. I want one decimal point. But then I need to let it know, okay, but who's this associated to? Well, then we could do something like this. Now this is pretty much syntax, so you have to repeat this, get used to it. Um, syntax means it's inherent to the language, okay, in terms of how to do this. So basically, you have a very kind of a, a convoluted uh, argument for the print, but it allows you to format it the way or customize it the way you want, okay? Now, this is very similar to some people who are familiar with C and C++ on how to format to a certain decimal point. So let's go ahead and run this. And notice now we get 7.2. Now, just to prove the case, what if I put a point 2 instead? Well, then it will round it up to two decimal points. As you can see here, you will get 7.20, uh, okay? Uh, let's leave it there for now. And let's look at another way to format the output. And this time we'll do it in a, a string and then we'll print that string. So for example, I could have a string called message and I can type in, you know, something a little more interactive, how I want the uh, output when I'm ready to do a print to work because eventually what's gonna happen, I just wanna do this, print message. So instead of having all the complexity right inside of print, I'm going to do it here. But let me use different technique on how to uh, to format uh, based on uh, how many digits I want to have a precision. So maybe I can also customize what I want to display. Result equals. So that's something that will display. Now if I ran this just by itself, you can see here I get result equal, nothing is completed. So I'm gonna complete this a little better. And what I'm gonna do now is put two curly braces inside the curly brace, okay? Uh, I'm gonna create a variable called, let's say, total. And I want the total to be, this is a temporary variable that I need here, to be at 0.1f. Notice I don't do a percent here for this syntax, okay? Next, since this is a string, if I type a dot here, then I will see that I have a whole bunch of methods associated with a string. And I'm gonna use the format method, and its argument will be what I want total to be. Well, I want total to be equal to the result. So in other words, the variable, the local variable total here, will have the same value as result, except when it's ready to print it, it will print it at one decimal point. Let's go ahead and see how this behaves. And there you have it, so result equals 7.2. Okay, so now could I have um, done a little manipulation to show, for example, uh, num1 plus num2 equals something like that. So you can do something like this. Uh, print. Uh, you could do num1, comma, 
and then plus and that would be a string there and then num2 then uh, equals you could do something like this if you really wanted to, to play with this and then result right so let's see what happens if you do something like this okay good so we've got our first number our second number but we're back to where we were in terms of uh, the uh, the uh, precision so can we manipulate result right here uh, so that uh, we still will see that 6.1 and 1.1. Yeah, all you have to do is reuse this code right here. So let's go ahead and copy this and let's paste it here so you can actually have it as an argument and let's see how this behaves. And there you have it. So in our case, we're going to need it at one decimal point. So I'm going to turn it to 0.1. So as you can see, you have lots of flexibility in terms of how you want to format this. Uh, is there another way to do it through um, a concatenated message? Absolutely. So let's go ahead and do that, message two. Oops. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna concatenate uh, num1 and num2 as a string. Now, how can we do that? Well, you could do it with the uh, format, just like we did here. So the syntax is correct. Plus equals, let me just, uh, okay, that's working. So that means we can copy this. And let's do this one, num2, num2. Let's run this. And what we're gonna do is put an e, uh, plus and a space in between, All right? So we've got that. And uh, then we're gonna concatenate again with another string that's gonna be very similar. So let's go ahead and copy this one here for a minute. Let's paste it here. And this one will have the equal sign instead. And we're gonna replace this with result. And we're gonna have result I forgot here, this is num2, result equals result. Let's go ahead and run this. And there you have it. Okay, so as you can see, the it, it, it can get really complicated here. So you have to be really, really careful on how you put it all together if you were to combine it in this manner, okay?